So the value from the t-tables, we have gotten 1.6973. So we now make the conclusion. We make the conclusion. Conclusion where we are going to say we need to reject null hypothesis since t calculated is less than t critical. That is the minus 12.22 is less than minus 1.6973. So the meaning of that, the meaning of that is that the machines, whether the machines, there is a significant difference. Yeah, so there is a significant difference. There is a significant difference in the use of life of the machines. There is a significant difference in the useful life of the machines. Okay, let's go to part B of the question. Uh, part B of the question. Excuse me, Molimo. Yes, Margaret. Do you just decide that? Uh... It's negative 1.6973. How do you did you come up with that? We learned from the tables. Uh, yes, the table got, is just one point. The table is the tables is just 1.6973. So how did you oh. arrive at it being negative? Oh, okay, okay. Because we are on the lower side. You see, when you are any time you are on the lower side, then eh, it is negative. Anytime you are on the upper side, remember the middle here is the mean. Eh? So anytime you are above, it is positive. Anytime you are on the lower side, it's negative. That like when it is one to the other now, I are no more distribution. Eh? When I told you that one was negative because you are on the lower side, the two to Kaiweka and you are positive because you are on the upper side. That okay. Yes, that's okay. Good. Ah, yeah. So if we are okay with that, I wish we proceed to the next question. That is saying that the following data relates to the number of computers sold each day over the last 240 working days by a leading computer farm. So we have the number of computers sold, number of days. So we are told to get the mode on number of computers sold. So in that case, eh? Let's start with the formula. The formula for mode M is L plus B1 out of D1 plus B2 multiplied by W. And B1 is equal to F0 minus F1. E2 is F0 minus F2. That is the formula for the modes. We are beginning to now is the quartal deviation. So the quartal deviation, quartal deviation, uh, 
the QD, it is Q3 minus Q1. You can divide by two. And then the quartile, the co quartile coefficient of skewness. So the coefficient of skewness, the skewness. So how do we get the skewness? The quartile coefficient of skewness is given at the uh, three the brackets, mean minus median. Divide by the standard deviation. Divide by the standard deviation. So that requires that we get the mean. So x bar is given as sum of fx. You divide by sum of f. Higher. Medium. We know is given as n as n out of two minus c f divided by f multiplied by w so with that now we know how many columns we require in our table We know how many columns. We have the computers for the class. If you require the midpoint, which will be our X, we require dates, which will be our F. We will require cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Because of the mean, we will require Fx. I think that is all. So if that is all, Uh, 10 to 45, 10, 15, 20, 30, no, 25, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So the midpoint, we add the two limits. This plus this, you divide by two. So this will be 25. So 12.5, 17.5, 22 22.5, 27 27.5, that's 2.5, that's 7.5, 42.5, Forty-seven point five. The number of dates twelve eighteen that part twelve eighteen that five forty two fifty fifty forty five thirty eight. Then cumulative frequency. This is 12, this is 30, this is 65, 
is 107, 157, uh, 202, 2 that 2, 240. So the total number should be 240. Then we have a uh, So multiply these ones, unipatia hii toto hapa. Kisha kope hivo.
Okay, tell me the figure now. Toto ya hapa. Ten seven eight six. Ten seven eight six. So if that is the case, we can start off. X bar then will be ten seven eight six. You divide by two hundred and forty. That will be the mean. Malim, can I ask a question? Yes, Beatrice. Kindly help me understand how X came about. Uh, X, you get it as uh, the midpoint of the class. You add these two limits, you divide by 2. 10 plus 15, 25, divide by 2, 12.5. The same for the others. Okay, thank you. Karibu. What is the mean? Taking too long, give me the volume. Now that my time is far much spent, I have like 14 or 10 minutes to the end of the lesson. 44.941. 44. 44.941. Oops. All right, so if that is the case, then let's get D1. D1 is the, you go to where there is the highest frequency. So the highest frequency of all these is this one, 50. So it will be 50 minus 42, that is eight. That is D1. D2, it is 50 minus this one, 45. That is five. So straight on the mode. The mode, the formula you here, you take the lower limit of the mode of class, the mode of class in here. So it is 30 plus D1. D1 is 8, then we have 8 plus 5. Multiplied by the width. The width is this one. 35 minus 30, which is 5. 35 minus 30.
ואולי באנסה? Hai minta aja kan berarti dia pernah nansas. Dari three point zero seven six zero seven seven. Dari three point zero seven seven. Okay, so that is about the mode. <clears throat> Let's uh, compute the median. So for us to get the median, we must first of all get n out of two. N out of two is 240 out of two, which is 120. N out of two is 240, sorry, is one, 20, that is 240 divided by 2. So Sasa, uh, that 120 is in this class again here. Yeah. So if it is there, the median, the median will be the lower class, which is 30. plus n out of two, which is 120. 120 minus the frequency above, that is 42. 20 minus 42, you divide by the frequency of that class, which is 50. Then multiply by the width. The width, just like we have argued there, it is uh, that five minus that. That five minus that. So tell me what would be the median value. Uh, 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 there is a column. <laughs> there is a half worker. Uh, give me this. That one point three. 1.3, uh, let's get Q3 or Q1. Q1 will be given as L plus 1N out of four minus CF out of F, you multiply by W. That is how we get the Q1. The Q1. So 1n out of 4 is 1 times 240 out of 4, out of uh, 4. So this must be 60. That must be 60. So if it is 60, here 60 equal quite class. So it is in this class of 20. So Q1 should be equal to 20 plus 60 minus the cumulative frequency above, 
which is 30. You divide by the frequency of that class, which is 35. Multiplied by the width, which is 5. Uh-huh, 24.29. 4.29. 4 so, let us now get the Q3. Q3, uh, the formula is L, plus three N out of four minus CF out of F, you multiply by W. So three N out of four will be three times 240 out of four, and that would be 180. Three times 240 out of four, that would be 180. Sasa yu 180, itapatika na hapa. So, my Q3 will be 35 plus 180 minus the frequency above, which is 157. You divide by the frequency of that class, which is 45, divided by 5. Be the answer. That is seven point five six. So that means now our Total deviation will be that 7.56 minus 24.29, you divide by two. So that gives us what? Six point six three five. I have standard deviation is given as sum of f x square. You divide by sum of f minus sum of f x. You divide by sum of f you square. Then this one you get the square root. That is how you get the standard deviation. So utarudi hapa kwa table, we create column ya fx square. So because I can see our time is over, we are almost to be logged out again. I believe that you'll be able to fill in this column, get the standard deviation, and then you substitute to get the skewness coefficient, the formula. Why your formula already to share a mean? 
tushapata median so ile sasa na kuachia utafute ni the standard deviation Therefore, that brings us to the end of our today's class and to the end of our blocks and to the end of the semester. So I want to take this opportunity to wish you the very best in your exams. Be cool and relax and revise well. I have given you what you require, not only to pass, but even to get an award. Uh, when you go to the exam room, now that Kasne by giving you seven questions, take a few more minutes and uh, identify the questions that you can answer comfortably or the ones that you cannot answer comfortably. So the ones that you're not comfortable with, the ones that you see you can lose more marks, two of them, you leave them out. Then you concentrate on five. And uh, it is always advisable to start with the easiest question. It's always advisable you start with the easiest question. Don't start with the most difficult. And no question should take more than 30 minutes. No question should take more than 30 minutes. If that minutes are over, leave that question alone, go to the next question. In so doing, you will have attempted the five questions, each 30 minutes, and what you have some other 30 minutes. Sasa hizo 30 minutes, the utarud sasa ukijaza mapengo enye uriacha. And uh, by the time unarudi huko, chenye uruko mesahao, it has started to come back. So usikuamiria kwa swali, especially in maswali kama ya time series. Nilahisi lakini is taking a lot of your time. Or even a question like this one. Nilahisi lakini is taking a lot of your time. So you have the minutes ikisha, so go to the next one. So go to the next one, that will help you. Ensure you don't go to the exam room when you are tired. Hii maneno ya kusomba kama dunia inaisha is not very good. Read now. You can translate now. But on the day of the exam, ensure you have had enough sleep. Because when you're not tired, your memory works better. Yeah. Make sure you don't go to the exam room tired. Don't go to the exam room panicking. You're not the first one to do QA. Mefanyo miaka mingi sana. Nambado watu wataidarea kufanya. So, yazi rat. You pass the paper. Eh, thank you so much for choosing Destiny to be your trainer. We really appreciate. We know there are many other options you could have taken, but you chose us. And we want to say thank you, even as we welcome you to join us in our section three. Don't wait for the results. Classes will be beginning the first week of January. God willing, just come. We proceed. Make sure you pass the word about destiny. Good word. Uh, to many people that you think would be interested. But in case there are issues that you did not get uh, satisfied with, please don't tell anyone out there. Make sure you let us know so that we can improve. So from my own behalf and uh, my family and uh, the entire fraternity of destiny, I wish you the very best. Happy holidays. God bless us all. Thank you.